Ahoy there, I'm Tiny Pirate, and welcome back to Birthdays The Beginning. Now, since we last played, I've actually had a very busy week with family, and I haven't been able to do uh, very much recording at all for the channel, which is a bit of a shame. But I did manage to get a little bit of work done in Birthdays, as you can see. Because, well, hopefully you can see. I've made a giant new mountain. The average temperature of the place is dropping to 25 degrees. So that's led to some extinctions, but it has led to some new things. Look! Look here! We've got a little doggy! Look here, doggy! He's munching on a bone! Brilliant. Uh, what else do we have? New trees. There's olive trees down there. I sort of mangled around with this hill just to make it look a little better, which is good. We have got... We've still got these big lizards. We've also got mammoth. Look! This is a cold weather mammoth, I think it is, or a dry weather mammoth. I can't remember which it is. Uh, there are other mammoths. Uh, we've got this kind of cow here. Um, we've got a bear. Look, here he is. He's adorable. There's this Spellius. Uh, there's probably a few other bits and bobs that are kicking around. I'll try and spot them as they, as they come up. Uh, here's another bear. Is he a different type? Nope, same type. Uh, over here, let me see if I can actually get the view to show you. So yeah, I've I've sort of just tried to soften up the landscape a little, make it a little bit more natural, because it was looking very artificial, wasn't it? I can't say it's a perfect job just yet, but I don't know, it's a little better. Got to admit, I mean, this hill's a little bit, hmm, it's a little bit like a pyramid, pyramid full of the dead creatures that have expired in our world. But uh, it'll do. It'll do for now. And I, I don't want to meddle too much because things are getting a bit cold. And I'm, I'm a bit worried about, I don't know, some kind of mass extinction events which might wipe every, everything out. So we, we have to leave it at that. I do, however, have an important job to do. And it requires... Look at these little guys. He's adorable. What is he? Sethi... Saliothropus. I, I'm not sure. Uh, I do need one of them, but I need the normal one. Ah, here he is. I think it's this guy I need. Where is he? Skydon. So we're going to have to pop back out and look at the family tree, because we have the fruit of knowledge to give. And uh, that's going to open up humankind. Um, Where am I? I need to go to tree view. Zoom back. Find... Oh, here we go. Find our mammalian ancestor. Which is, there it is. Oh, it's not Eosmus? Dryopithecus? So, so I need to look for the Dryopithecus, and then that is going to lead to early man. Or possibly to some other kind of monkey. But I'm pretty sure, well, the route to early man is through Dryopithecus, so let's, let's find him somewhere. Come on, Dryopithecus. Be good. Give yourself over to our demands. Look at this guy. He's awesome. He's like a giant raccoon. I'm, in fact, I'm pretty sure that's what he is. Yeah, prehistoric raccoon thing. Okay, are you a Dryopithecus? Yes, you are. Okay, so here we go. So, fruit of knowledge. Where are you? Okay, so fruit, fruit, boom! Fruit of knowledge. Da, 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 da. So it's time to drop back. To the to the long time frame, Australop Austra I think that's the one we want. Aust Australopithecus. I'm gonna have trouble saying these names continually. Where are you? Where are you? I will hunt you out. Ooh, something's flashing over here. Is this our first early man? I hope so. Come to me, early man. Where are you? Oh, not quite. Here he is. Who are you? You are. There we go, Australopithecus, an intelligent primate that walks on two legs. Ooh, it appeared after the other one ate a certain kind of fruit. So that's fine. We need to speed up time a little bit, make sure their populations are going up. Which look like they are. I've had a look at the stats, and for our human to evolve, the temperature needs to drop a little. And he needs, and she, they need more dogs in the world. So I think we're going to have to do a little bit of geoengineering here, just to mess with things a little bit. We need some more planes and uh, less... Here we go, Canis Lupus has come back. It did actually pop in and go extinct there for a while. We need that temperature to drop a little more, I suspect, which means a little bit more land needs to be reintroduced. So it's time to reclaim some chunks of the 
of the world out there. Just remodel things. Give us a bit of tectonic upheaval, I suspect. So let's get a little bit of mountain going. So first of all, let's flatten everything off here. I'm going to just expand a little bit of the ground around this area. Hopefully we don't exterminate too many creatures. But if we do, that's just going to have to be too bad. Good, and now I can create a mountain range. So this is pretty fun, watch this. Oh, oh. wow. That is, that is kind of massive. And there are a few somewhat unfortunate uh, bits of seaweed and what have you hanging around. But I do like how kind of natural that's looking. Brilliant. And we do have a temperature that has dropped. The new maximum temperature will be 22 degrees. And I suspect that's really going to help produce the kind of cold weather that our, our people need. And uh, we'll get some more evolution going on. So we do already have new dog types. Here's one. What are you? You are a very adorable sea familiaris. It's a domesticated dog. Look at him. He's adorable. He's all white. Looks like a very fluffy bundle of fun, doesn't he? And he, I'm sure he's going to be a good hunting buddy. Oh, and some kind of new lizard thing? I don't know what you are, but we'll claim you. Uh, whatever. A monitor lizard. Oh, great. Okay. And with that, we have Homo erectus. Early man has arrived. Where are you, early man? I'm going to hunt you out. Oh, are you somewhere? Oh, look. <gasps> There's a little... There's a little adorable tent there. Oh, there's a new kind of dog, so let's capture this one. There's our, our original primate seem to be kicking around still. There we go, Canis lupus. Uh, here's a little house. I, there was a guy standing around here, but I don't think that was Homo erectus. I think we still have to look for them. <gasps> here they are. Look at them. They're adorable. Humans. They look just like me. Ah, oh, brilliant. Primates that form villages use fire and tools. They propagated in groups. Oh, propagated and hunted in groups. Yes, with the, with little doggy friends. So next on the list after our very early man is uh, the next set of primates, which is more modern. And uh, they require a little bit cooler temperatures and a fair bunch of rivers and greenery and what have you uh, to encourage olive tree growth. Um, so I might just have a quick look at olive trees where are they that's the one so it requires we already have it what is it like uh, birth moisture it likes reasonably dry not super dry but reasonably dry okay well i think we can fix a whole bunch of that do a little bit of work on the, on the world now and here we go we now have ancient humans so we still have some homo erectus around but some of them have got a bit smarter Figured out how to use tools and build, I don't know, primitive villages rather than just live in caves. I've gone and added a little bit more to the hills. You can see there's a definite, there's been some geological upthrust there in the middle of the map. Rivers are pouring off the mountains. And as the temperature drops, you'll see that now it's uh, aiming to be around about 19, 20 degrees. The tops of the mountains are starting to get snow on them, which is just amazing. So I think it's time we go and find these ancient humans. Wherever they may be. Okay, wow. So I've got uh, something here. It looks like reeds or wheat or something. Which will be very handy. Hopefully that's valuable. Uh, wheat. I was right. Wow, I'm pretty impressed with myself. So and look at this. Oh, they've got an adorable little village down there. That is so cute. I I love them. Humans. Be my, be my friends. Whoop. Don't go into the lava. Be my friends. Look, they're roasting up a few bits of mammoth down there. Making, well, that's the monkeys. We need to find our ancient human friends because I think, oh, we've got a few new things here. What have we got? An elephant. Yeah, so it is. I think we actually have an elephant. Wonderful. Loxodonta. All right. Uh, okay, great. It lost all its hair. Well, poor guy. Loxodonta. Some other stuff kicking around. Look, villages everywhere. Um... I suspect, oh look, down here we've got a tiger. Is that right? I think it is. There's lots of new species for us to discover. Oh, panther tigeris. Okay, great. Some kind of tiger. Um, where are we? I'm looking I'm looking for ancient, ancient man. Unless that is just that the people evolve and uh, we, we kind of don't see any physical changes other than their villages start to grow more complex. 
A hyena. Great. Oh, we've leveled up. Wonderful. Oh my goodness, we got massive terraforming powers now. Forget about that for now. Oh, more things are up here. What is this, a giant white lizard of some kind? What is that? Oh look, we've also got a snow leopard. I think I grabbed that off air when I was busy building. Wow, ad adapted to freezing temperatures. I don't know lizards could adapt to freezing temperatures. I would have thought that would be kind of fatal. I mean, when you think about how hot uh, it was during our dinosaur period, you know, 40 degrees, you can see why the dinosaurs thrived. Just beautiful, beautiful weather for a, for a lizard. Uh, right, a tiny cold mouse. All right. Oh. Come here, you. And you are... Oh, a, a bull that likes cold weather. All right, fair enough. What I don't see around here, which has me a little bit troubled, is much in the way of trees. So I'm going to drop down another river here, I think. And, and I think the moisture generally helps with um, trees doing their bit, really. It just seems very odd that there aren't enough trees kicking around. So we'll just meander our little stream down here. I'm hoping that the extra... No. I'm hoping that the extra moisture will uh, give us... There we go. Well, not through the ground. I'm hoping the extra moisture will lead to more plant life. Because, well, it's... I don't know. It's 50, 60 percent. Just don't see trees spreading over to our island yet. <gasps> what is that? Look. Look, it's ancient. It's ancient mankind. They've built a beautiful town. Oh, you guys are so adorable. Ancient humans use speech and what have you. <gasps> wow. I gotta get, I gotta get a close and look at them. Oh, they've got adorable new cows to eat. I want to see them declare war on ancient man. Okay. So where are we? What else is going on? Anything else out here? Just normal, normal dogs here, I suspect. <laughs> Hello, cow. Just gonna have a little look around. Oh, here we go. They just, I don't know, this is really cool. Oh, I can hear them talking. They're strange, weird words. Oh, there's a, there's a giant, there's a giant monkey just hanging around. And on the top, a little village right at the top of the mountain. Beautiful. So all that, all that hard work over here was not for nothing. They've colonized it. I think this must be the Oracle. Everyone's come up here to receive their fortunes. Hooray, we have modern humans, and they are growing quite quickly now. Dropped the temperature of the world just a little bit to ensure that they would appear. And also checked, and they require wheat. And as you may have noticed, there was a ton of wheat. I was going to find it all. Look at all of these primitive humans and their wheat. I think these guys are going to find themselves quickly overtaken by modern man looking for, their, for its dinner. So where are you, modern humans? I can see some people... Uh, may exist in the bottom corner over here. So let's go check them out. Are they hanging out? Just sort of having a bit of quiet time on the on the coast here? Ready to invade? I think that's likely. You know what modern humans are like. Have you even built houses yet, guys? Oh, what are you? You're a very tiny... Uh, a doggy of some kind. Oh, Lupus Albus. All right, Tundra type. Ooh, there you are. Look at you, modern humans. Modern human. Wow, you do look stylish. Primates that built cities in large green lands and practiced trade. Wheat fields cultivated by ancient humans had a large impact on their populations. I kind of think that a few more wheat fields or a bit of space for them might be in order. Bloop. There we go. Just to raise everything up by one. Let's give these modern humans a fighting chance and see how they do. Although a lot of creatures are struggling with the new low temperatures of around 18 degrees average, we're still seeing a few new creatures evolve, and modern man has grown to something like about 50,000 in population size on this map, which is pretty strong. <laughs> Look at you, you big giant alligator, you're amazing. What are you lot all doing? Running away, I'd like to think. Let's go check out modern man. Look at it. Modern man, you're amazing. Look at these beautiful little villages you've got here. And you're having a little munch on the old fruit there, are you, modern lady? Wonderful. I don't see you colonizing the rest of the world yet. I suppose that's something to look forward to, right? You can conquer 
conquer the rest of the strange world when it suits you. I think with modern humans here, it's probably a good place at which to stop this uh, series. I've, I've quite enjoyed birthdays at the beginning. It's been educational and quite fun. I hope you have too. You can check it out on Steam if you're interested. It's one to keep an eye on. It's it's kind of a little bit pricey, I think, right now. But um, it will certainly teach you quite a lot about the world. And uh, hopefully you'll have a bit of fun while you do it too. Until next time, I've been Tiny Pirate. Thanks for watching. Love having you around. Good night. <laughs>